Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. I just got a new Cricut Light cartridge. I know it's one that's been around for a while and I never had gotten it. I always looked at it and I really wanted it because of this beautiful arch and also these adorable uh, pieces of fence and gate with the flowers. I just thought that was so pretty and there's some beautiful flowers and topiaries and bird cages with birds and flowers and frames. There's just some beautiful stuff on here. Also we've got Blossom, Carefree, Bliss, Bloom, Memories. What's this one? I missed that one. Can't read it. It's too small. <laughs> Tiptoe through the tulips grow, celebrate spring, how does your garden grow? Just a really, really pretty, pretty cartridge and great for spring. So I decided I wanted to make a card and I want to use this gate with the flowers. I just love that. I think it's so pretty. So I went ahead and I cut out the gate and I've cut it out three times because I want it to have a thickness even though I'm going to put it on pop dots I still want it to be thick so I cut it out three times at two inches let me show you where that is right here they call it fence one and I cut that at two inches out of the white and I did it three times I'm going to put that together with my two-way glue pen then for the little uh, leaves and stems for the flowers, the background. You hit shift and fence one. Cut these out at two inches out of green. Then for the little flowers to go on top, you hit fence one and layer. And I've cut those out of purple. And they're very tiny. So I'm going to be using my tweezers and my two-way glue pen to put these together. So I'm going to get started gluing all this together and then we'll choose some paper and backgrounds and things for our card. Okay, here we have our fence and you can see I've glued all three together and now it's kind of like chipboard. I like that. Now I'm going to put my little flowers on my stems and leaves. I've got all my little flowers on and I'm going to use a two-way glue pen to put them on the front of the gate. This is going to be so pretty and I'm going to fill in the empty circles of the flowers with some stickles when I get the card all put together. See right in there? I'm going to put some stickles in there. Give it a little sparkle. Here's our pretty little gate with the flowers. I just love that. Now for my card, I decided to use the same purple as the flowers. And this is a portrait style card. And I cut my paper at four and a quarter by 11, scored it in the center. So it becomes four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna add a white background mat. And this mat is four by five and a quarter and on top of that I've got a piece of this bow bunny paper that's really pretty this light blue background with these beautiful uh, white designs on there they're very lacy looking this is three and three quarters by five which will go right there and then I wanted a piece at the bottom that's going to look a little bit like a grassy background this is a piece of Heidi Grace paper and I forgot to measure this let's see this is one and three quarters by three and three quarters we're going to put this right down here and then we'll put our gate on top oh I'm liking that guys let me go get my ATG gun and we'll start putting this together okay we're going to add our white mat to the front using our ATG gun you 
get that on straight. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add the green strip to the bottom, but I'm not going to adhere it yet because I'm thinking I might want to add some ribbon or some kind of trim across there. So we'll just go ahead and put this on the bottom. Line up our sides and our bottom. Okay, I found some pretty green grow grain ribbon I'm just going to put right across there just to finish off that edge. And I don't want anything too bumpy, even though I'm going to put my gate on some pop dots. I just want something to finish off that edge. So I'm just going to take my ATG gun and put some adhesive on the back of this. Very simple. And put this across here and wrap it around on the back. And then we can go ahead and adhere this to the front of our card. See how simple this is? Okay, we'll go ahead and get this adhered. Okay, I've got my little fence on some pop dots. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to the front of my card. I want it right about there, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. Now I've decided I'm going to add a sentiment up here. And looking through the folder that comes with it, I found some really pretty frames. And I like this one right here, frame number three. I've cut the shadow out of purple, and I cut all these pieces at three inches. But here's the shadow I cut out of purple. And they show it portrait style, but I'm doing it landscape style. Then the actual frame I cut out of white at 3 inches. That's this one right here. That's going to go on top of that. And then you would come over here, you would hit frame 3 and shift. And I'm using green, and it cuts all these little corners and backs of flowers. I think this is so pretty. See, these will all go on just like this. And then the next step would be to hit frame three and layer and get your little purple flowers that are going to go on there. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to go to the computer and print out a sentiment. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I'll put it behind all of this. But this is going to take my tweezers and my two-way glue pen once again to put all this together. Also, I'm going to take some stickles while I'm working on the frame and go ahead and put in the center of these little flowers. This is crystal stickles. So it'll give it some sparkle and shine. And this tends to pick up a little bit of the color that it's on too. So I can put that on and let it be drying while I'm working on the frame and thinking of what my sentiment's going to be to go inside my frame. Okay guys, here's my finished card. I went ahead and put my frame all together. And like I told you, I cut my frame at 3 inches. I've added some stickles to my little uh, centers of my flowers on my frame as well. I decided this was so pretty, I'm going to use it for a Mother's Day card. So I went to the computer and I printed out Happy Mother's Day. This is Edwardian script ITC, and this is at 28 points in black. And I just measured my frame and cut this to fit on the back and just centered it in there. And I've got this on the card with pop dots. I'm having to be really careful because all the stickles are still wet. I hope y'all can see the sparkle of the stickles. It's kind of hard with the lighting. But I think it turned out really pretty. And I'm so glad I decided to finally go ahead and pick up this Cricut Light Bloom cartridge. There's lots more things on here I'm going to be using too. I know I'm going to be making a couple more Mother's Day cards with this one, but I really, really like it. 
Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.